Hello everybody, my name is Hassan Dumbuya. I'm going to talk about uh, safety and security of every commercial or business or, or governmental structures. Before proceeding further, I will explain briefly about safety and security. Um, safety and security is the responsibility of everyone. These documents provide simply guidance on how you can ensure a safety and a security of your of your yourself. You work in colleagues and visitor to this structure. This simply means how you can provide security, how you can secure lives and property in this this um, commercial aspect. Um, working at any structures or governmental structure or organization bring additional responsibility for the staff. Your job responsibility represents the government and there are things that you therefore must do to ensure that you and your colleagues and the information you entitled to have access to and uh, be safe and secure. In addition, any structure or facility can often become the target for people who hold grudge or seek to embrace the government, to embarrass the government. For this reason, safety and security is the responsibility of everyone working in, in or visiting this structure. The advice contained in the docu document is based on common sense. And if it is accepted and adapted to individual needs, it will form the basin on which the good security or safety of this building. It basically means that you, you the staffs that are working in that uh, facility, is your own responsibility to take the safety on your own hands. In case of any emergency, you should have common sense. Um, when situation want to occur and if situation uh, unexpected situation occur what you should do i'm going to talk about documents that cover the following areas document that covers the following areas like personal health and safety crime prevention that is number two then number three building security number four information security then uh, number five potential threats and number six suspicious person or items then hostility attack yeah um first i'm going to talk about uh, personal safety there are many potential threats to your safety these can range from simply health and safety things short as trip of hazard fire or other environments or or events that means you have a quickly evacuate the building to a crimes being committed against you there are some simply rules to follow that can help help to keep your safety example we are talking about health and safety health and safety in every structure will have a, a, a person or a people who are responsible for the health and safety. Always be aware that you personally, always be aware of your surrounding and look out for things short as trip of hazard or other items of furniture or equipment that may not be safe. If you see any of these things that you think is health and safety hazard, that simply report it to the appropriate person in that building or commercial or government uh, structure you inform to the person who is in charge do not wait for someone else to report it as a colleague or a visitor may be injured themselves before it be reported so it's better to report for the safety for everybody you know um, you are also responsible for your own health and safety. So you should not do anything that can cause a risk to this. Short as carry items that are too heavy for you, that can obscure your view. 
I'm going to talk about personal safety also. In event of something happen, you may not be able to ask others what you should do. As short, whether you are workers or a visitor in any structure or business center, you should try to be aware of your surrounding at all time. For example, knowing where the emergency exit is in the building in case of fire or in case of any uh, flood. Then number two, knowing where to find the nearest fire extinguisher or first aid kit in case of any injury or, or a small fire. I'm going to talk about um, called crime prevention. We are very fortunate, or you might be fortunate to be in a county where there is a low crime rate. However, this is very fact can be made person uh, placement, complacement and believe that there is no chance of their falling victim to a crime. And this provides an opportunity for criminals to take advantage. So sometimes if you are in a vicinity or area where you think that there is no crime and everybody be re relaxed, it is an advantageous, it's advantageous for criminals to take that as an opportunity to evade, to, 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 to to enter this place or to do something which is criminal act without you knowing it or expecting it. Example, keep your valuable, you should keep your valuable safe. Example like rock sack and bag briefcase can easily be picked up if you left unattended. So either do not leave this unattended or if you have to remove any valuable like money, credit cards, phone first. Then mobile phone, lock them and keep them safe. Do not keep them in your, in your back pockets. Make sure you have enough charges do not walk around do not walk around with your phone on display and make and make sure you have emergency contact number you are speed up the dial i'm going to talk about um do not carry large amount of cash with you Thieves are also operate in a mall, shops, or departmental stores where people are more likely to be standing still, distract and so paying less attention to their belongings, making them an easy target. Be more aware of your surrounding in, in busy shops and malls because they are ideas, they have ideas place for thieves as it's easy for them to bosh past people take items and blend it to the crowd consider your consider using money belts if you have to carry a large amount of cash keep your money with you safe and always be conscious of yourself and your people around you also follow the advice below for protecting your valuable which is in the crowd example keep purse and bag close and secure at all time carry bag in front of you and and uh, across your chest return the card to your purse and wallet quickly and zip it up the button then three point um use a purse that is difficult to open the one that the zip or the, the the snap shot is best and keep it close conceal your wallet in your bottom or zip pocket where it does not come out keep a list and separate from your wallet and phone of contact numbers of your family in case of your phone got stolen I'm going to talk about driving. 
um, safety in driving, yeah, if you leave the office, for example, if you are working in office, if you leave your office for meeting, make sure that your colleague know where you are going, who you are meeting, and who should be returning. Keep your door locked. Always make make use of your central lock when you are driving and always make sure that your door are locked when you are driving your car in a statutory or a traffic then another point if you if you live in during hours in your workplace of night time do not do not illuminate your interior lights as it allow people to identify you and also see the content of what is inside your car another point if you think that you are being followed by another vehicle call the police or drive to the nearest police station or another place with a lot of people like petrol stations shops seeking seeking as assistance Another point, do not leave your car without turning the engine off and remove the key. Always, always reverse in making parking. This let this lets you see any hazard that is in front of you. So you leave your parking space and let your driving quickly. Once you use to it, it is also easy to reverse in a comfortable space. Avoid narrow or long, lonely streets. Keep, keep to the main route. If something suspicious appears to take place in the road ahead of you, stop and turn before it's too late. Beware 